Bob Bodie, Gary Densham, both trying to get in. Todd Lasenko's the bump, 423. It is only Denshin that gets down, but he didn't get down quick enough, so neither one of those make it in. Dave Reed. Now Guido still smiling, listening on with me. Uh, 16 years with this man. Does that sound like the John Force that can get back in this thing? Yeah, it, it definitely does. Um, he likes the drama. He's uh, He was all fired up before we started. I love this drama. I said, I, I don't know how many ulcers I can handle, but um, the guys gave us a great car, and you know, John, we've been struggling. It's no secret. And Catherine and Ford sticking with us and everything else good run and maybe we could fight the fight tomorrow and then see if we could take some of our competitors out for our other cars. I've heard Jimmy Prox found some things. Neff is going to benefit from that. You guys are going to benefit from that. How tough are these Fords going to be in the last two? I think they're going to be good. I mean, we've all been trying some things when we're uncomfortable. Obviously, we've been struggling. Part of it is we've been testing. We realized two races ago where chances were pretty tough for us. So we've been testing, you know, trying to help the other cars and that's kind of what it's all about right now. It's John Force Racing, Team Ford and Team Castro and Triple A, you know, winning. That's what it's about. You hear that crowd? You hear that? You see them on their feet, and then you wonder why John Forrest is so popular. He stops, he waves at the crowd. Oh, yeah. Because he does things like that. And back in the staging lanes, we can hear the crowd cheering. Will they be cheering for Chris Pendragon? He's been knocked down to number seven right now. He says he can step it up. We'll see if he can step it up all the way to number one.